What's up everyone? I'm back with another video. I don't know how long it's been since the last video because I can't keep track of any of this. What I can tell you is I put this floor in and I think I lost all the footage I shot for that. I think I formatted my SD card before I dumped on the computer. I'm going to take another look and see if I can put a video together of this floor, but I think it's gone. Basically what I did is I framed this one for one by one aluminum framing, uh, 16th inch uh, wall thickness. 16 inches or so and then I use I think it's polystyrene hardboard insulation between the frames and then this is this is half inch mahogany luon and I gave this a coat of Thompson's water seal on both sides and then obviously I'm going to have actual good looking floor of some sort on top of this but this is the sub floor and it's solid done and one of the reasons why a video may or may have not been uploaded in so long is because I've had a van in the shop getting some work done and then I just got back from a week long trip with the van to Williams Creek Reservoir area or near Pagosa Springs, Colorado. So I haven't really done a whole lot recently except the floor, but this video is not about the floor. It's not about Williams Creek Reservoir. It's about these unistruts, as you can see here. Picked these up from Fastenal and I also picked up a bag of unistrut goodies, like these, these um, channel nuts. Basically go inside these channels, put a bolt in here. That's a half inch bolt. On, the, on this side, you can see they have these little grooves when they're in here, they twist a little and they lock in place into the uh, into the channel under here. So I've already gone through and made some cuts. These two pieces here have been cut and this is going to be what I'm using for my roof rack. Uh, I'm doing a unistrut roof rack and I cut those two pieces for one side. It's 12 feet long, um, roughly, and cutting some more channels and putting a roof, roof rack together over the course of the next couple days and into this weekend. Today's Wednesday. So follow along as I do this. We'll get a roof rack on the roof so I can mount my solar panels and a wooden deck. And then I will, uh, I will show you how I'm doing this. There's a lot of people that have done the Unistruts uh, roof racks. So I'm following some direction from other YouTubers who have done this. But um, let me show you how I went about doing this so far. And then we'll continue on with the whole project and we'll complete it eventually. And it'll be really cool. So let me get you on the roof and then I'll be up there in a minute to show you what I've done so far to get to the point where I'm at. All right, let's get up here. Okay, as you can see here, I have this bracket. There's one up front there and this one and that one. And finally, fourth one. These brackets come from DIYvan.com and basically how it works is they send you this which is manufactured by them I believe and all it really is is this bracket here that's designed to fit on these stock little nubs that come on the roof of the ProMasters and this little channel here they cut out slides into this little nub and then what they have also done which is really cool is they CNC'd these little it's like a I don't know some sort of plastic spongy thing more like a plastic but they see and see these so that they fit where they belong with the little ribs gouges and whatnot that's on the van so you put these over the top and then they sit nice and flush and they don't move around very much i have four of these on this side and obviously there'll be four on the other side and what i've done is i brought my unit shirt up here and made some measurements so i have two pieces that are going to connect to each other to make one long 12 foot piece let me get the camera set up here and I'm going to bring up the first piece of Unistrut and show you how I figured this out. <coughs> Let me grab that, I'll be right back. Here is the first piece I cut. They come in 10 foot lengths. And they have these holes cut out from the manufacturer. So, I came up here and I laid the 10 footer down here. Figured out where I wanted it. So connecting two of them, I have this meet about halfway on this bracket. So the next piece will start here and go down to the, to the rear of the roof. And I'm going to have pieces going across as well in certain areas. Definitely in the front and in the back and then some support in certain areas across the roof this way. So I came up here and I measured this. And then these bolts fit in the holes exactly where they should go. So what I did is I cut between two of these and remove this piece with the, with the jigsaw. Now I have one long piece. On this particular piece, I have a long one up front. This is gonna go on top of this through those two bolts up front. One bolt's gonna go through this hole and one's gonna go through this big hole. I did that. Instead of trying to drill holes perfect, I did that so I have some room to play with it in case I need to move it around a little bit to adjust things. 
through this bolt. And then the other piece goes through this bolt and through the other bolt. Let me go grab that piece and I'll show you. Okay, so this is the second piece I cut. The first piece is around 60 inches up front, and this piece is around 74 inches in the rear. Same deal. I cut out longer channels there and in the middle, and two in the rear. That way they can fit where they belong. Let me spin you around a second. The first one goes there. These two bolts fit through here, and same to the rear. We have a unistrut side complete all the way down to the front all the way down to the back now there's nuts that come with these brackets so this is going to get bolted to the roof with the bolts and this won't go anywhere before i do that i'm going to take these two pieces off and i'm going to go cut the exact size and holes out of these channels out for the other side of the roof and then i'll be mounting these and then i'll be figuring out how to do my cross members across this way so until i get to that point Tight. It's got a nice breeze right now. It's pretty hot around here. Well, it's been a couple days and I've done some more work on the roof rack and I'm gonna get up there and show you where we're at and finish this off today. At least finish off the installation of the roof rack. Before we do that, let me show you these really cool socks my brother got me for my birthday. Yep, camping socks. The bottom says, I'd rather be, and I think it says, camping on that side. So with my really cool socks and my Crocs, I'm gonna go up on the roof and show you where I'm at. Before I do that, I need to change this battery because it's about to die. So here's where we're at. I've got the side bars and the rear bar not completely snug yet, and I'm gonna be placing a bar across the front to support the whole thing. What I ended up doing was using some bolts, or some nuts, I should say, in here to give it a little bit of a gap. I have a washer first, and a nut, and another washer, and another washer on top with a lock nut. This here is for the Unistrut channel um, nut bracket for the front piece. I have to go bring up the other piece, the front. It's cut and ready to go. I'm gonna mount that across the top. All right, I'm back like that. I have the top piece here. I'm just going to go across. Okay. So, this bracket goes in the corner. Please don't ring. Please don't ring. So two of these channel nuts get inserted into here. Hopefully you can see this okay. Just get inserted into there. I'll drop this down. And then line these up somewhat. I'm going to start by putting in one bolt in this first channel nut. I'm going to put two more bolts in this new beam right here. And it's not going to fit because it's not going to fit because I can't get this piece over far enough because the bolt down here underneath here is in the way. So I'm going to see if I can hammer it over there a little bit. Oh yeah, okay, so I'm going to work there. I'm going to line those nuts up and put a bolt in over here. And then I'm going to line a nut up. I'm going to line a bolt, line the nut up there, put the bolt in there. That's tight. Tighten it up a little bit. And I'm not going to tighten up everything super snug because I want to square everything off before I do that. But that's how this works. I'm going to have this piece in. And I'm going to go over to the other side do the same thing over there. I'm gonna put the same bracket on this side. All right, so I just finished going around the other side like the van behind you and tightening everything down. And now I'm working my way on this side. Okay, it's not, it's not completely square. All right, this one's actually, it's, it's about like an eighth of an inch it's around. Now, to get it square, I think is going to be more effort than it's really worth. I think I'll be able to get the solar panels mounted up here just fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to measure from that side of the pole to this side of the pole, the other side, down. <clears throat> see how close I am to it being square. 
think I'll be within an eighth of an inch, that's my guess. And that's fine. I'm not gonna go through this I'm trying to make it absolutely square. And it's off of an eighth of an inch. One thing I did back here, under this piece, oh, it's starting to fall off now. That's okay, I'm cutting this off, but I added some heavy mass vinyl and glued it to the bottom. This side didn't stay. I'll fix that later on, but I did that because it's so close to the roof, I don't want it hitting the roof or if I'm standing on this, scratching the roof. So I put some, cut some vinyl and glued it on there. It's falling off, but I will, I'll end up redoing that later anyways once I take this all apart to have it power coated in the future. I'm not sure when I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna finish tightening the bolts and then I'm gonna measure and see how off or close I am. And then uh, I'm gonna grab some panels and throw them up here and see what it's like. So I have one of my panels here. This is a 200 watt Renogy monocrystalline panel. I'm gonna put this on the roof. I have two more of these for a total of 600 watts. I'm gonna to try to do this myself. Um, no one's here to help. Tomorrow, well, first of all, I'm gonna put these three on the roof tonight, at least try, just lay them there. Tomorrow we're having a birthday party for my, my uh, nephew, Declan. So happy early, or happy late birthday, and happy early birthday party, Declan. Anyways, we're having a bunch of people over tomorrow, so I'll have some hands around to help me hopefully get these mounted and all the wires connected tomorrow. So I'll have to keep moving them up and down. But in the meantime, I'm going to toss them up there. I'm going to toss you up there first, and then I'm going to bring a panel up. There it is, one panel up on the rack. All right, I wanna go get two more panels and put them up here. Yeah, buddy. I've got two panels up here. Ah, oh, that's hard work. One more panel. panels you want. Sweet. That's awesome. Alright. I'm gonna go grab my fan base plate that I bought from DIYvan.com and I'm gonna put that up here just to get an idea of where the fan will go. So this is from DIY van and it's CNC'd uh, I don't know what material this is. But anyways, design. It could fit in the center of the van like so. Over the ribs. So now that I have this here, I know that my fan up here somewhere. I'll be right about there. And then around, around the fan, in this open area, I'm gonna build a wooden platform. Once I get these installed, I'm going to um, put another piece of unistrut right here right along the back of this one. <clears throat> Probably the front too, because up, the, up on front I have some space too. I can put some, I can put some uh, platform up there as well. A wooden platform to sit on. Easily sit one person here and one on the other side. I think that's all I'm gonna show you guys for now. I'm gonna do some measurements on each side. I'm gonna go measure the other side from the unistrut to the edge and make sure this is sitting uh, evenly across this. And I'll make little marks with a mark with a pen with a pen so that I know where they are. 
on both sides of this unit strut because I'm gonna have to drill holes in the bottom here because the ones that are there aren't gonna line up with my unit strut. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera and I don't know when I'll be back for the next segment, but, but I will be back. I'm back. It's been a couple days, but I got the roof rack done. So let me go up on the roof and show you that. Hey, look who it is. It's Levi. What's up, buddy? Yeah. All right, let's take a look. I have one solar panel up here already. All right. Here's the roof rack. I put in some crossbars like you can see there. There's another one right there. And the panels are gonna fit between the crossbars. Three of these guys. So that's how it is. It's pretty solid. I like it. Let me go show you how I am mounting these solar panels. You can see right there is a bracket I built. Angle aluminum and another one. And of course there's two on the other side. I haven't bolted them down to the roof rack yet. So let's go take a look at the brackets I built. So I took a piece of quarter aluminum like this and I cut it down to one and a quarter inch I believe and that's how it looks. I used one of the factory poles from Renergy, the Renergy panels and I put a quarter 20 bolt through there <clears throat> with a lock nut on the other side and a washer on top and then I just added my own self tapping um, bolt or screw I should say to it as well and on the underside there is some 3M uh, double-sided sticky tape. So that's what I'm doing there. I have to finish it around this, four on here, and then I have to do one more panel right there. And today's a birthday party for my nephew Declan, so I have people here, and I kind of planned this out perfectly so they can help me get these panels on the roof without scratching the van. So I'm gonna continue getting these brackets on, and um, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna soft tap them this way, two self tappers right here into the frame. And I'm also gonna add some 3M tape to this underside. So they really shouldn't go anywhere. Um, I'm gonna get these panels done and on the roof and then I'll show you what it looks like when they're up there. Right. Okay, so it's been a couple more days, but I really need to finish this video. I need to put an end to this video so that I can create the video and post it on YouTube. And I've been slacking. So what I've done is I've finished my roof rack and I got all the solar installed and I installed my other fan on the top of the roof over there. So let me hop up on the ladder real quick and show you what I did, how it looks, explain a couple things, and then we'll cut this shot and we will edit this video. So here we go. This is the roof rack, all the solar, 600 watts, 200 watts each panel. And for right now, I just have the positive and negative wires sitting here until I route them inside and I install that fan as well. Everything fits perfect. Fan up front, fan on back, 600 watts in the middle. I'm gonna put two more pieces of Unistrut here, one from here to there. Same on the other side of the fan. And I'm going to build some sort of platform here and platform on the other side so that if I need to come up here and clean these panels, I can have something to sit on and wipe these down or stand on and um, come up here and watch the stars at night. So that's where we're at. It's done for now. We'll get things pretty later on. Um, it went pretty well though. I just drove around the last couple days around town and on the highway and they're not budging. So the brackets I made are holding up. So that's it for now, and I'm gonna get this video edited. Before I do that, let me show you one more, one more other thing I'm working on. I started brainstorming what I might do for the inside of the van. Let's see if it's too dark for you. But what I started to do here, if you can see it in the dark, is I started building this bed frame out of Unistrut. So I have a piece coming down here I need to bolt to the floor. I'm gonna have a piece on that end going down to bolt to the floor. Same on this side. Yo!